William Ruto is marking one year in office as Kenya's president. And Kenyans have got varied opinions on how William Ruto has performed. Kabando wa Kabando, one year later, time for older guys to shift eyes from rear mirror to front focus. Uhuru can't be a daily excuse as Ruto's disastrous tax craze gets worse. Coffee, macadamia, and avocado farmers suffering the lowest, worst prices ever as Oda laments runs backstop at Ruto's desk. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to understand in clear terms how Ruto's government has performed in the past 12 months. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. Let me start by saying this. If you compare all governments that have ruled Kenya since independence, this one is the worst. Ruto's government is coming out as the worst. And I'm saying that because if you look at the individuals Ruto has appointed as cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries, and other top government officials. They are men and women who clearly are not up to the task. Some were previously implicated in corruptions, some murder, some rape, some even tax evasion, and such manners of all ills in the society. Those are the individuals who have been given jobs, top government jobs in this government. And just to start with their integrity alone, they are also not fit holding public offices. They will most definitely not act in the best interest of the people, but they will act in their own best interests. And, that's, and that can explain why in the 12 months, Ruto's government has failed flat. And that's not debatable, ladies and gentlemen. If you look at the issue of taxes, or rather if you look on the issue of taxes, since independence, Kenyans have never been taxed as Ruto's government is doing. Everything is being taxed. Tax increment every now and then. And as I talk right now, even Sakaja, the governor of Nairobi, has listed some tax increments in some of the services the county government will be rendering. A confirmation that Sakaja, even though he's coming out as a little bit sober voice in Kenya Kwanza government, as long as the head is rotten, the tail will never get it right. The tail will equally be rotten. So the principle that is ruling Kenya Kwanza is too much that the lower officials such as Sakajan are just being forced to move in that trajectory. Taxes everywhere. When William Ruto was campaigning, those who supported and voted for him, especially those from the mountain, were all very optimistic of a William Ruto's regime. In fact, some were made to believe they were going to form a government with William Ruto, a hustler's government. 
As I talk, we've been hearing farmers on the mountain, coffee farmers, tea farmers, macadamia farmers, and now avocado farmers, they are all complaining. The prices have actually gone down very badly. And it's very interesting that as that happens, regarding William Ruto and their team, they are busy attacking Uhuru Kenyatta and attacking Raila Odinga. That we are in the city. We are where we are because of Raila, because of Uhuru Kenyatta. That has been their rhetoric ever since they were sworn in office. So again, it's exposing a team that is not trading to deliver. A team that is just in power to be passing blames to other people. A confirmation that this is a team that is very clueless on governance. And most definitely, even if given 100 years, they'll not deliver. They'll never get it right. And we still remember, immediately after being sworn in, Ruto and his team were constantly telling Kenyans, give us three months, give us four months, six months, one year. One year's actually elapsed. But Ruto's government cannot pinpoint any single development project it has initiated. This government has not initiated any meaningful development Kenyans can pinpoint, or even the government itself can pinpoint. Totally no development. While Kenyans are being really being over overtaxed, but taxes are just disappearing. Ruto has borrowed more than any other government since independence, has borrowed within one year. Ruto has borrowed more than any other government has ever done in Kenya. With all the borrowings, with all the tax increments, Ruto's government has totally nothing to show for all those. It's high time Kenyans should know of these things and to demand for development from William Ruto and his team because it's a fact. This is a government taking Kenyans as fools. And I'm saying that without taking sides at all, ladies and gentlemen. That's the truth. As I conclude, it's William Ruto has already started 2027 campaigns on a high note. He has already started the campaigns. And Kenyans are cheering him up, alulating him as he campaigns for 2027. That again exposes the political naivety, the political ignorance among some Kenyans. Before you start alulating and cheering up a leader who is campaigning for 2027, before he accomplishes or fulfills the promises he made to you in 2022, you are actually watering and manuring that politician, the impunity being exhibited by such politicians. Kenyan should refrain from that and should start demanding for service delivery from their elected leaders. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humble, very grateful for the kind of support you're giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Any other person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you. God bless you. Hiyo anakuja kusema tumeteremsha bei ya mbolea kutoka shilingi 1600 
kwa gunia sasa limekuja 2500 hiyo mbolea wamepewa bure na serikali ya urusi wagawanye kwa wakulima bure alafu anakuja anauza kwa zenga 2500 hiyo 2500 naenda wapi nani na wamepewa bure tani na nne wakaongeza mchanga ndani yake imefika sasa alufu moja alafu anakuja hapa anasema sasa balea nimerudisha bei chini unasikia hiyo si anakudanganya upuzi kabisa hiyo sio si ushenzi hiyo